Hello everyone, this video is made to introduce and demonstrate one of my personal electrical projects I completed a few years ago, the 8-digit next clock. This project was inspired by a similar device featured in a famous video game and animated TV show, The Steins Gate. In the show, the device, the divergence meter, was made to display the word line digits for a time traveler. Well, I took the design of the divergence meter and made a digital clock based on it. The clock is built around an 18 mega 328p and programmed with the Arduino IDE for simplicity. I'm considering to rewrite the code in C for some overall optimization and a few new functions in the future. The power is provided by a regular 12V DC power supply, and it is further divided into 5V DC power supply for the ICs and 170V DC supply for the next tubes. The 5V DC is supplied by a 5V regulator, and the 170 DC is supplied by a pre-built booster circuit. I have tried to create my own booster circuit, but failed, and it is still on the proto board. I accidentally fried the booster chip and just decided to just use a pre-built booster circuit for simplicity. The time of the clock will be kept going even if the device is turned off, thanks to this RTC chip. Since there are many pins on the next tube to control, I need some way to expand the I.O. pins of the controller. Thus, the command from the controller is stored in 574HC595 shift registers in parallel. Each of them have 8 outputs and connected to the decoders. Each next tube is controlled by a K155ID1 high voltage decoder, and the two additional K155ID1 are included to control the dots on the next tube. Finally, the next tubes. These are IN14 next tubes produced in the USSR in perhaps 1960s or 1970s. I purchased them from Ukraine through eBay. Each of them has digits from 0 to 9, and two dots located on both left and right of the tube. These tubes are common anode tubes, so each digit plate is connected to one of the pins on the decoder, then to the ground. The clock has two display modes. Right now, you are looking at the first mod. It cycles between the current time in 24 hours format, a randomly generated word line number, and the current date and year. This mod is made to replicate the symbolic animation shown in the Steinscape video game or animated TV show. Another reason of this mod is to extend the clock's lifetime. Next tube's lifetime is seriously influenced by an effect called castle poisoning. Castles that are constantly not excited will be gradually covered by a coat of resistive material when there are some other castles being excited constantly. You can click on this link to learn more information on castle poisoning. This periodically cycling animation will slightly reduce the effect of the castle poisoning and still keep it looking good. Another display mode can be accessed by pressing a button on the bottom proto board. This is a rather simplistic scrolling animation, switching between days and time. The switching frequency is rather high, but I just want to keep the tube's lifetime as long as possible. So, that's about all. I do plan to add some new features in the future. Right now, the only way to calibrate time is to connect the 18 mega 328p to my computer and recompile the code. It will update to the time on my computer. I hope I can add some sort of GPS component so it can resync dates without the need of computer. Thank you for your attention.